Hi, this is Amy Baez, pediatric occupational therapist and founder of Play at B, here with an episode of Tips and Topics. So before we get started today, I first wanted to thank you for tuning in today. I know you can get a lot of information in different places, but I am glad that you are here and that you have uh, faith in us to give you good and informative information. So today's topic is actually a subject that I've been coming across with some parents recently and I thought I would share the answer with you all publicly and that is what is the difference between a screening versus an evaluation? Well at times parents will come to me and say that they have a concern about a child but they're not quite sure if it's that big of a deal and they'll give me a brief description of what the situation is and sometimes I can tell them right off the bat, yeah, it sounds like your child really needs some help. And then there are times where they're still unsure, and maybe I'm unsure because of course I've never met the child. So that, that may be the time where I might suggest maybe a screening. And a screening is a short process where I spend maybe 15 to 20 minutes with a child and I'm looking to see if there are any red flags. I'm looking to see if there's anything in different areas of the child's development that may say to me, hmm, I'm not quite sure about this. This child may have be having some difficulties here. Let's do a full evaluation. So a full evaluation is going to be a much longer process. It's going to involve standardized testing and the scoring of those tests. It's going to involve a much longer clinical observation period. It's also going to include a report and that report is going to include the test scores. It's going to include all the details of that op op observation. It's going to also include a plan of care if the recommended um, therapy is needed. And that plan of care can include short term and long term goals, treatment strategies, recommendations, all sorts of information. So that is a much longer, lengthier, informative process and will definitely give you answers, but it does come at a higher price. And so sometimes that is why someone might consider doing a screening before an evaluation first. They may want to save some time and money. So I hope you found that information helpful to you, especially if it's something that you're considering right now. If you'd like more information about all types of child development concerns, you can check out our blog at playop.com. You can watch these videos here. And until our next episode, I hope you have a playful day.